Good evening, everyone. The future of high-speed rail is on pause. The current governor saying he's leaving the fate of the project in his successor's hands, who has vowed to kill the rail line. News 3 political reporter Jessica Arp has continuing coverage of the rail issue. She's live from the state capitol tonight. Jess? Well, Doyle saying in a statement today that he could have played brinksmanship and pressed on with the train, but chose not to. Instead, pressing pause and leaving the fate of the line in the hands of the governor-elect. <laughs> Assembly Republicans are cheering the governor-elect, who two months before he actually takes office will get to decide what happens to an $810 million rail line in Wisconsin. My position remains the same. I, out of deference, I wanted to hear from the administration, both from the governor and Department of Transportation, just because the decision was made last week to put a stall on uh, without details. And so we just like to learn some more. Um, but, but I don't see anything that would change my mind. That means Governor Jim Doyle likely knows what will happen now that he's leaving the fate of the project up to Walker. In a statement, the governor says while he could force the issue, he believes the project will only be successful with the state and U.S. Department of Transportation as strong partners. So for that reason, Doyle says he's put the project on pause so that the U.S. DOT and governor-elect can decide on the future. Not that, but I appreciate the fact that he understands there's been a, you know, a change will be forthcoming on January 3rd. Certainly wants to make sure the state doesn't incur any more cost if it's not heading that way. Doyle says millions more could have been spent if work didn't stop this week. But Democrats are reminding that there will be money still to pay back. More than $14 million have already been spent and 412 people scheduled to work on the project could lose their jobs. I hope we'll figure it out, but you know, really at this time of really a tough budget and a bad economy, giving away $810 million um, seems a little counterintuitive to where we're trying to get done uh, in the next session. Part of it is not only talking to this administration, but having a chance to talk to the federal Department of Transportation, Secretary LaHood or others in his staff uh, about what accommodations could be made in that regard. I, obviously, I'm still pushing. We'll push with them as well as our congressional delegation to see if there are alternatives to that. Now, but Doyle says there, this money will be spent on nothing but rail. He says the U.S. DOT has indicated that if Wisconsin turns down the money, that it will award the money to another state. As we reported on Friday, there are clauses that were included in the contract with the federal government late last month that will allow the state to get out of this if it so chooses. Jessica, reporting live from the state capitol tonight. Jessica, thank you very much.